بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Good afternoon my dear students of grade 11 at the Manahaj schools and welcome back to a new English lesson from your book Traveler 4 Our lesson for today again is writing uh, writing a book review Before we get started let's uh, remember what we studied last time about what is a book review and how we can write a book review the title of the lesson, as I said, writing a book review. So let me ask you, what is a book review before we start? A book review, as you know, is a form of literary criticism. In which, uh, in which a book is merely described. You describe a book or analyze it based on content and the style. We have a description, a wasf for the book and the description, based on the content or based on content and the style, based on the content and the style. We have, as I told you last time, we have four steps to write a book review. And there are four steps that we can write from the book review easily. The first step is to start with or to begin with a brief summary of the book. A brief summary means ملخص سريع أو ملخص مختصر للكتاب. In this summary, you are going to write the title of the book, the name of the author, and where it takes place. This is the summary or the brief summary in the introduction. The second step, as you can see, to pick out the most important aspects of the book or the most important events uh, inside the book. Yes, to describe what's happening, to describe the plot of the book. In the third the paragraph or the third stage of writing a book review, you can include some brief quotes as examples. You can in include some brief quotes. Quotes where and the last step in writing a book review is to write a conclusion that summarizes everything. A conclusion, where in this conclusion you write, you, you summarize everything. One sentence or two sentences, including your impression or including a piece of advice and whether you recommend the book or you do not recommend it to other people to read. سواء أنت بتنصح بالكتاب ده أو لا تنصح به للآخرين. So let's get started at your book on page sixty-five of your student's book. This is Traveler Four, Module Four, and our lesson again is writing. This time we will start here at page sixty-five. We will start. From this table. Read the table below with the phrases and expressions you can use in uh, with phrases and expressions you can use in a book review. We have three rows. Uh, you, you can use these words and the phrases in writing a book review. Then complete the review in Joy's investigations with words from the box. In the introduction, we have three rows as I told you. الخانة الأولى من الجدول فيها introduction or plot المقدمة أو plot اللي هي الأحداث أو تسلسل الأحداث The second one you have comments عندك فيها التعليقات اللي هي the main part which can be made up of one paragraph or two or even more and the last one is the conclusion for example in the introduction you can start with a, a phrase like this this book is a best seller this book is the best seller. The book is the best seller means This book is the best seller. Timeless. You can say it's a timeless novel. The book is written by, and of course you will write the name of the author here. The book is set or takes a place. Takes place. It is a novel. A classic, an adventure story, a mystery, EDC, or etc. 
هتذكر في الفقرة دي إذا كان الكتاب هو عبارة عن نوفل رواية أو شيء كلاسيكي أو an adventure story أو هي قصة مغامرة أو الغاز أو إلى آخره. It came out in. It was published. It was published in or by. إنه نشر تم النشر بواسطة مين أو فين في أي مكان في أي بلد. The book tells the story of. Here you will write the name or the main character of the book. هتكتب هنا اسم الشخصية الأشهر أو بطل الرواية لو كانت رواية. The main character is اللي هي الشخصية الأساسية. And in the comments, في الجزء الخاص بالتعليقات, you can start with something like this. This book is badly written. If you say it's badly written, this means that you didn't like the book. And if I say if it it is well written. يعني مكتوب كويس أو بشكل سيء بناء على your impression أو على انطباعك عن الكتاب The opening chapters are so appealing that you want to keep on reading يقول إن الفصول الافتتاحية في الكتاب بتبقى so appealing that you want to keep on reading إن بتخليك أو بتشدك إنك تكمل قراية The book contains detailed descriptions or vivid descriptions وصف تفصيلي أو وصف حي للشخصيات of the characters. The book is very descriptive or informative. The book is well known for. الكتاب ده اشتهر بإيه أو معروف بإيه. These are some comments. It's like uh, that uh, you are writing your opinion about the book. In the conclusion, you can start or you can use some phrases like you will find it hard to put down. إنه مش هتقدر تترك الكتاب هتكمل قراية. It is not worth reading. You can say it, it is worth reading or it is not worth reading. يعني يستاهل أو ما يستاهلش القراءة. If you haven't read it, make sure you get a copy. Uh, they, it's like uh, this phrase is like a recommendation uh, or a piece of advice. If you haven't read it, بتقول للقارئ إنه لو ما كنتش قرأت الكتاب, you make sure you get a copy. اتأكد إنه أنت تحصل على نسخة. There is no question why. There is no question. إنه ما في شك إيه وتكمل بعدها. So these are the three or the main the three uh, components of the book review: the introduction, the comments, and the conclusion. Let's move now to this part in which you are going to complete the book review. We have some blank spaces here. You will use these words and these phrases to complete the blank spaces here in Joe's investigations. Joe's investigations, as it seems to you, is the name of the book we are reviewing here. Is the best-selling book. Best selling, هو الأفضل مبيعات, هو الكتاب الأكثر مبيعات. The author is Steve Adams. The author, هذا المؤلف, written by, yes, written by the author Steve Adams. The book was first in 2008. Was first, yes, it was first published. And it is still, and it uh, still remains hugely popular with readers around the world. It tells of the of McAllister, McAllister, a top-notch detective living in Ohio. Joe is Joe is the the hero of the novel. Hero, يعني بطل. يبقى الكتاب يحكي عن adventures وده اسم الشخصية الأساسية أو the hero. بيحكي عن المغامرات وهو the hero يعني بطل of the novel بطل الرواية who goes about solving all kinds of problems with the help of, the, of his eager secretary and loyal friend Billy Ray he helps bring justice to those that he uh, wrong that do wrong to others Joe's investigations is not a conventional detective story مش قصة أو ليست قصة تقليدية. It is light-hearted glimpse into life of Ohio. Into life of Ohio. The book is well written and informative as well. It's full of vivid descriptions. مليء بالأوصاف الحية of both the characters. للشخصيتين الاثنين in the book and the people in Ohio. This is a book that 
appeals to all ages يعني هو كتاب بيعجب كل الأعمار ينفع لكل الفئات العمرية and is so enjoyable that you will find it hard to put down والكتاب ممتع لدرجة أنه مش هتقدر تتركه يعني لازم تكمله قراءة So my dear students this is an example of a book review and these are some of the important uh, uh, words or the important phrases you can use when writing a book review When you are writing a book review follow the outline الجزء هذا مهم جدا يا شباب انه لازم نعرف الاوتلاين المكون او الشكل الرئيسي للبوك ريفيو اتس ميد اب اوف 3 بارتس از يو كان سي ذا انتروداكشن المقدمه ذا مين بارت والجزء الرئيسي اند ذا كونكلوجن والختمه ان ذا انتروداكشن علشان يكون الامر واضح ان ذا انتروداكشن يو جيف سم جنرال انفورميشن هتكتب بس معلومات عامه عن الكتاب معلومات عامه لايك ذا تايتل اللي هو عنوان الكتاب author what type of book so it's enough if you cover these points you have a good introduction if you write the title the author or the name of the author and you mention what type of the book أي نوع uh, is it an, a novel or adventure story or uh, whatever it is what is it uh, what is it about والكتاب عن إيه In the main part, which can be made up of two or three paragraphs, or even of, of one paragraph if you would like, you give a brief summary of the plot. You comment on significant aspects of the book. The style of writing, symbolism, etc. And in the conclusion, الخاتمة كمان سهلة جدا إنك أنت تكتب خاتمة. You can just state your opinion. ممكن تكتب رأيك if you really like the book or you would like to recommend the book to other people to read, and you make a recommendation. So state your opinion and make a recommendation or uh, just write a piece of advice to the reader. These are the uh, the components of a book review, and this is the outline you have to follow. يبقى لما هنكتب يا شباب لازم نمشي على الأوتلاين ده إنه الكتابة أو الفقرة اللي نكتبها أو المقال من three parts هي the introduction, the main part, and the conclusion. Now it's your turn to write. You have a writing task. This is on your book or your student's book, page 65, as you can see. Your English teacher has asked you to write a review of a book you have read recently for the English Club magazine. Write the review describing the book. هتكتب النقد اللي هتكتبه ده واصفا الكتاب. And saying whether you would recommend it or not. وتقول إذا أنت رح يعني توصي بهذا الكتاب أو تنصح به أو لا. Uh, your writing should be of 100-150 words. المفروض ما يقلش الكتاب اللي نكتبها عن 100 كلمة ممكن لحد uh, 150 كلمة. Go to the workbook page 58. So this will be your homework for next time, inshallah. And before you write, you can make use of this of these tips. You can read the tips here uh, when you write a book review, mention the main events in the book in one paragraph, give a general idea of the plot and don't include ADC. Uh, you, uh, yani it's advisable for you to read these tips and follow them up before you start writing. Your writing assignment will be on your uh, workbook. As I told you, it's on your workbook page 58. I will wait for your writing. And until we meet again, thank you very much and goodbye.